Hello world, Zachary Triple O Seven. In today's tutorial slash program review, we'll be on a program called Cool Tweak. This program is a great program. It allows you to edit pictures right from your right context menu. Now we're not going to be doing fancy stuff. We'll be adding watermarks, text, and uh, resizing. So this is great because now by the click of a button, you can resize and do very simple stuff extremely fast. The program doesn't require much at all, at least one gig of RAM, which basically every computer now has nowadays. Um, and a multi-core processor is recommended. My old laptop, which is like five years old, does have two cores, so odds are you're at least running two cores. So um, the reason they want two cores or more is because you're looking at faster converting times. So anyway, you can go to this link though and click the web installer. It will download the zip file for you. Just extract it and you'll get this file right here. And you can go ahead and open it up. So you're going to see, it, I'm not going to do this. Now I have already had the program installed, so um, it's not giving me this option right here. But for you guys, you guys can go ahead and just um, go through the next, and make sure you skip the baby lawn install. You don't need that really. All right, so now you can delete the installer if you don't want it. From here now, um, you can go ahead and use the program. So by default, you're gonna get the cool tweak um, context menu here. We have different options. By clicking open editor, you're gonna get um, you're gonna get this right here, which is just the editor, so you can edit the options you have. This program is very uh, versatile. Um, you can create more than one context menu, so you can see you have different entries in there. You can uh, edit the ones you currently have, and of course use them. So I will show you what they do. Um, so by clicking resize, it's just going to open up and see a manual input of which you want to resize it to. So um, you have some extra restrictions if you don't like to. But So what I'll do is I'll put down to 900 by 900 and click start. All right. And what it does is it actually will create a folder in the same area where it was and then open that up and you'll have your file just smaller. All right, so you can delete that if you don't want it. Now I'll show you, um, obviously these ones are just automatic. You can add a watermark, so by clicking that, it will also, it will also add your, as for your um, option here. So you can do custom text or image. So if I go image, I can pick an image. Now I will show you guys later in this video um, how to set up automatically so it does a image automatically. And I'll just put it in the, yeah, I'll just leave it in the center for now, who cares? So I'll hit start. And you guys can see it's like a faded look. So obviously it looked better if I don't have a black background to my logo. If I had um, just the logo cut out and then I did that, it looked a lot better. So that's about it, showing you guys how, how it works. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom and edit the entries. So again, by opening the menu editor here, by clicking on one of them, you can actually edit it. So let's say you never use 1600 pixels. You can right click on it, or sorry, hit the menu actions, rename it to, let's say you want to do 1000. So just type 1000. Then go over here and adjust it so now it's 1000 by 1000 hit save changes now you're going to see when I go to my picture and right click it and go to cool tweak we now have for size to 1000 pixels I click that I now have my 1000 size pixel um, picture And another thing the program does, it does give you a notification every time something's finished. So this is, and you guys can see it's pretty snappy when you guys do it. So that's how you do it for all of them. Um, the watermark also, but 
Like I said before, though, if you want to actually have it though, so that it does the same picture every time, if you go to add a watermark and then go to the arrow here, it says ask me for the options every time, which is the live mode. If you go to always use following settings, what it will do is it will automatically do the same thing over and over again. So you can have it do a text every time, or you can have it do a picture every time. So custom picture, load that image, my logo, and then I can pick where I want it to go, which is the center, hit save changes. And now when I right click this picture and I go cool tweak and hit add a watermark, it's not going to ask me anymore. It's just going to automatically add the watermark for me. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add your own custom entry. So I don't think this is really useful, or uh, I'm not going to say it's useful, but I don't see the purpose of it as there are other ones. So basically, the only reason you'd add one is if you're going to add um, another option, more resizing, because these are the options it does. So I would suggest adding these ones before you add a new one. So um, go ahead and now you click here. So if you go on um, here, you can choose stuff you can do. So you might want to go plus optimized version to Facebook and click OK. Like I said, though, all the things it can do are already over here. So I don't really see a purpose of it. But let's say you want to do a custom Facebook one. So you're going to go edit label. Facebook at um, 500 pixels. So now what we're going to do is we're going to resize the picture first. So we're going to go 500 by 500. And then we're going to upload to Facebook. So we can have always these following settings. And we can give it an owl name. So And boom, we click save changes. So basically, the purpose of having a ability to add another one is basically you can do a couple different um, steps continuous. So you can resize, then add a watermark. You can resize, then post to Facebook. You can add a watermark, then resize. So that's kind of the purpose of it. Um, you can also go to output options, which I didn't show earlier, which basically does is basically is gonna show a new window and you kinda choose get to choose where it gets outputted to. But anyways guys, that's about it for this uh, video. If you do like the uh, idea and the program in this video, go ahead and give my video a like and uh, share it with your friends. And besides that, subscribe for some more awesome computer themes and computer videos. This is the Archer 7 and I'm signing off.